Hello people, once again and welcome to the part 2 of my uh, creative process, especially for uh, submission to the Comixology. Uh, this is how it looks like uh, from the embedded uh, Comixology Previewer and uh, the matter of, of this part 2 uh, in particular will be uh, the double page spread issue uh, especially how to prepare uh, the correct layout inside of the Menta Studio uh, uh, Pages Manager to keep uh, all uh, pages in the different layouts into one seamless file. Uh, here there are the uh, sizes of the measurements, the dimensions uh, for the specific double page spread. So as we can see, it's as twice as big, uh, particular, particular as twice as big as uh, the regular uh, the regular layout so uh, uh, I'm going to remake the template with equator uh, the uh, template uh, make sure I'm working with uh, specifically inch as a uh, uh, measurement unit uh, because it's kind of ridiculous to make a transition from the different dimensions so it's better and more convenient to use uh, uh, one, one measurement unit uh, as, as, as inches are so uh, here we can see the regular, the regular page layout and uh, from, from, from my left uh, the window we can see uh, the pages uh, in the, the double page spread layout um, and uh, the only issue is left is to substitute correctly without the redundant white space so, uh, the finished uh, line, the finished color work uh, without the white space breathing around uh, I have to trim to cut it, to cut it off to trim it off uh, for this, I'm going to uh, resize to scale up my uh, source file to make sure I can uh, cut off uh, the uh, white space uh, out from uh, the color works. Uh, for this, I'm trying first of all to use this uh, graphic converter utility, which provides the embedded uh, native. Uh, trim function. Um, uh, this is the matter of choice. Uh, I do prefer this uh, for some times as well, but uh, my program uh, for photo editing is still Adobe Photoshop. Uh, CS6, I'm using, I'm, I'm stop for on the CS6 because of some uh, my graphic hardware acceleration issues. Uh, I never, I never switch to CC. Uh, version uh, and here uh, we can see I prepare to pre-made uh, the template sized within the borders predicted by the Comixology and then and then going to just copy paste it uh, through the clipboard down to Photoshop for editing it finally and uh, in particular to place it over the template which is template, uh, I'm going to set up the exact, exact numbers uh, predicted by the Comixology. And don't forget the save present uh, function. Uh, to use the save present function which, allow, which allows us to make a um, template uh, easily to open and uh, modify. Uh, here uh, you can see I've placed it uh, my uh, uh, copied from the graphic converter uh, color works over the template we made and make it uh, a little bit uh, confined uh, to uh, make uh, lines and uh, colors but most of all 
to avoid this pixelating or artifacting issue. Uh, here the uh, one and one for the converter, uh, which provides with many uh, very useful uh, embedded features. And uh, with the help of him, uh, with the help of it, I can test test out of the current resolution and make it even uh, look better. Yeah, I'm going to assemble with uh, substituting within my uh, story story manager inside the Manga Studio built-in story manager. Yeah, I quoted it and see which is fits absolutely correct to the borders shown uh, on the page because every page you can see in sequence to the left to the left to the left in the Manga Studio of this window are uh, our uh, final pages, our final sizes. So the assembly process is to prepare the um, already trimmed, already cut off uh, final page and to substitute it inside the Manda Studio uh, uh, story, story Manager. This is uh, going to proceed to the regular page uh, for this, uh, for, for which I prepared uh, a separate template a separate template here in the Photoshop. I'm going to work with the Photoshop strictly uh, without no intermediate like the graphic converter. But uh, like I said, this is uh, the, uh, the thing, the matter of choice. You can use uh, both of them or even stop at the graphic converter. Um, here we can see the line work, how it looks. It looks even smoother, it looks even uh, dashing uh, because of uh, this compression issue. And now let us see, let us see, uh, I'm always going to rescale my output files from Mendo Studio up to 130%. Over, over its original size and then uh, cramp it down, confine it down, scale down with my uh, Photoshop uh, but manually over the pre-made exact template uh, issued and predicted by uh, Comixology. Uh, in this way we will achieve, uh, you see the bashing graphics even even in resolution which is uh, practically 200% bigger than original, uh, we can uh, encounter no pixelation issue. You can see all line tones uh, smooth and clean, which is my main goal here. We can see no artifact in whatsoever. And this is also good. Uh, here the perfect photosuit 7 I'm using to test some pages I uh, I'm doubt with or maybe not doubt you can see the exact from the from the right in the panel from the right you can see the exact measurements and then, and then we are going to we are going to our page 26 which is the final page of this issue which is uh, predicted the issue number two. And uh, here I show you the exact uh, exact sizes, exact dimensions predicted by the Comixology to have uh, for the uh, on-screen for the desktop publishing process and distribution. And here we can see the all batch process for all issue. Contains of covers, back covers, inside back covers. Uh, page 11 here wasn't properly uh, trimmed off, so it still requires my attention. But all the page, whatever the type was they has, uh, are all ready for the batching process, for publishing process. Only the page 11 is left. To, to cut off the redundant and here I'm going to uh, a little bit to introduce a couple of 
commercial PDF uh, tools. Uh, which this one is a uh, Wondershare PDF converter, which I never recommend to use. It fails to work. Whatever the patches, whatever the latest versions, it won't work. It fails for me three times. Failed and uh, three times in a row, and I trashed it off without any uh, any details because I have I just have no time uh, to look into the features of every stuff on the internet, especially into the such stuff which won't work for me. So the wonder share isn't my option. Um, here I'm going to combine all. Uh, they are already published in a portable network graphics PNG format output files. I'm going to combine into the one uh, seamless PDF file with keeping the original resolution. But uh, like you said, um, the Wondershare um, PDF converter failed on this task and I never recommend it to use. But the process, uh, the process uh, is still for the different types of uh, such stuff, such a converters. So we can uh, consider, we can discern all uh, different converters uh, as the same scheme of work, as the same process. So uh, uh, if, if, if we are going to uh, the PDF toolbox, toolbox plus which I prefer. Uh, the process is the same. We are going to publish all output files uh, one by one into the, uh, for example, PNG portable network graphics format. Um, this one PDF toolset uh, failed for me too, so failed on the test. So I do not recommend it as well, neither. Here you can see my desperate try to publish in it. They have to work. They all have to. They all has to be working, but uh, they fail. It simply doesn't provide the the level they announced, which is which is ridiculous. But still, so uh, this is the crash test of PDF. This, this, this one you can see actually the best one. It, 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 it works. It, it worked. It worked for me. It works. It works. It does. It does. It does. But these two, Wondershare and PDF toolset, uh, are aren't recommended, uh, and I thrashed them. Uh, mm, the PDF toolbox uh, does the work. Uh, and here we can see the uh, output is too much huge, uh, 487. We have only to scale it down. Thank you for watching.